Good morning, students. This video is for class four science, and today we will read the adaptation of aquatic plants. Adaptation in aquatic plants. Now, this adaptation. What are the changes that you can see in aquatic plants? The changes that you can see in the plants that live grows in water. Aquatic plants are the plants that grow in water. So, what are aquatic plants? They are the plants that grow in water. These plants can be further divided into three types. So, these aquatic plants, these aquatic plants. can be divided into three types number one is floating then fixed and then, and then underwater or submerged underwater or you can say as submerged now floating water Floating, sorry, floating plants. Floating plants are plants that float freely on the surface of water. So there are there are few plants that grow on grow in water. They float. They float on the surface, on the top surface of the water, and they float freely. They move freely anywhere. They do not have fixed roots, and thus are not attached to the bottom of the water body. Just because they do not have fixed root, that is not attached to the soil of soil inside the water. That is why they have the ability. They can flow. They can float here and there. They can move here and there. They show the following adaptation. So they show the this kind of they, they show the following changes that <coughs> actually help them to survive in the water. These plants have light and spongy stem filled with air. Sorry, air. Now these plants, these floating plants, they have very light. They, the step of these plants, they are very, they are spongy. They are like spongy, and they are. This is filled with air, which help them to float. A waxy coating covers the leaves that prevents them from decay. And the leaves of these plants, they have waxy coating, a very thin piece of plastic like material. They are covered so that the leaves do not get damaged when they are in contact with water. For example, water lettuce, duckweed and water hyacinth are some examples. This water hyacinth is very common. You can find it uh, in the ponds that around your house. If you have a pond around your house, this is very common. You will easily see them. Next is floating plant. Uh, sorry, fixed plant. Fixed plants are those plants, what, those aquatic plants in which the roots are attached to the soil inside the water and they do not move from one place to another. They can bend in any direction because they have a very long stem which is flexible but they do not move from one place to another. Fixed plants have roots that are fixed at the bottom in the mud underwater. They show the following adaptation. So these are the changes that this show. Let us see. These plants have flat and broad leaves that help them float on water. So these plants, these fixed plants, they have very big and flat leaf, which actually help them to float in water. Leaves are waxy coating that prevents them from rotting. It is the same as in floating water, floating plant, floating water plant. The leaves is covered with a very thin sheet of plastic material. They actually help them to be fresh, not to get rotten. They stem are long, as I have said, they stem are long, hollow from inside, very light and flexible. They can bend in any direction. Whenever wind blows or the flow of water, they can bend in that direction easily. Their large floating leaves allow them to absorb more sunlight to perform some photosynthesis. So the, the large leaves, the flat large leaves, just because they have a long, a big surface area, they actually help them to prepare food in the uh, prepare food easily by the process of photosynthesis. For example, lotus, water lily are some fixed aquatic plants. Next is underwater or submerged. So there are some plants which remains inside the water. 
they are they are not seen on top of the water or they do not float they are fixed inside the water submerged means they are totally inside the water underwater plants are the plants that grow under the surface of water they are also called submerged plant they are also called submerged plant because they remain inside the water and they show the following type of adaptation like these plants are thin and ribbon like narrow leaves with no stomata so if you see the picture of this like suppose if this is the plant they have very thin and needle like narrow leaves they do not have any stomata their stem are flexible and filled with air which help them move along the flow of water they, their stem are flexible and it is filled with air which help them to move from one place to another with the flow of water roots fix these plants in the mat these plants in the muddy soil and they have roots which actually help them to be fixed in the muddy soil that is inside the water they breathe in and out directly through their body surface so they do not just because they do not have stomata they do not breathe through the stomata because they don't have they breathe through the surface of the body they have holes they have pores in the surface of the body and they breathe in and out through it for example hydrilla pond weed and tape grass are some example of water grasses a uh, water plant underwater plant so i hope you have understood this the three different types of aquatic plants floating fixed and underwater floating they their uh, roots are not fixed to the soil so they are they remain they float on the surface of the water and they move from one place to another fixed they are, their roots are fixed to the soil of the uh, soil but they float on the water uh remaining in that fixed place underwater or submerged there are few plants which remain which grow inside the water so i hope you have understood this children so please read this paragraph so for today up to this much thank you class